and girls of every age. Wouldn't you like to see something strange? Come with us and you will see. This is our town of Halloween. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. What's going on guys? This is the One Man Army, Mr. Easy for Life, coming back at you guys once again with another Revelation video, two in a row, man. And today I wanted to go ahead and showcase one of the dungeons that we're going to be getting in CBT. I believe this is the Deserted Shrine. Now what you're seeing on the screen here is, uh, it's not a solo run. I, 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 I fucking honestly wish that this was a solo run, uh, but it's not. This is the questing version. As you can see right here, I have this uh, AI uh, Vanguard tank pretty much carrying me. And uh, But the reason why I wanted to show you guys this is I, you know, I wanted to do like a little bit of an overview. I wanted to give you guys like a, uh, like a sneak peek, like a snippet or something like that of uh, what we're going to be getting. So even though I'm doing the questing version, I believe the layout of this uh, dungeon is pretty much the same as it would be uh, if you were running it with five people, right? So uh, yeah, I believe this is actually going to be the hardest dungeon that we're going to get in uh, CBT1. So this is definitely something. That, some, this is definitely a dungeon that you want to be running on the daily because uh, the uh, the rewards and the loot and the gear, or whatever, is definitely worth your while, worth your worth your time, worth getting, and uh, whatnot. So as you can see here, yeah, the layout should be pretty much the same. We got uh, my Vanguard dude. Uh, tanking it and uh, my, I'm playing as my vanguard as well so we're pretty much taking out these mobs there's a lot of AoE going on here and uh, I believe I, I so I read on the forum today about it and uh, it is confirmed that this dungeon actually unlocks at level 35 so that's uh, I, I believe yeah easy mode starts at 35 and then you're gonna go ahead and head up into hard mode at 40 and then god mode should be at 45 right so you can pretty much speculate the kind of gear uh, this this uh, dungeon is going to be dropping in terms of the levels, right? 35 to 45, around there. Uh, so uh, yeah, this is uh, pretty much uh, what we got going on here. I'm not going to go too in depth with mechanics. I kind of want you guys to uh, analyze it, check this, uh, see what you're seeing. Kind of yeah, like I said, analyze it, take notes, rewind the video if you have to. If you want to, you know, check out the mechanics or whatever, because this should be relatively the same. The only difference, of course, with the questing version is obviously the mobs are easier. The, uh, the you don't have to worry too much about the boss mechanics, um, but I believe there are st still mechanics implemented into the questing version. Of course, it just doesn't hit as hard. So yeah, um, but uh, other than that, this is uh, yeah pretty much what we got going on. So you're gonna walk up here, free some some f free some villagers, and uh, then you're gonna go ahead and head over to this boss right here. This is the first boss right here. I forget what his name. I think he's like the the claw dude or something like that. I don't know. I was reading the names. On the forum, and I, I can't even remember what the hell, uh, what their names. I know this guy's like claw something because he's got that claw sword or whatever. And the next one's gonna be like a, the flame spirit, I believe. And uh, yeah, so as you can see right there, he got a little bit of mechanics. He does like an AOE thing. I think that was him. Um, yeah, I don't know. But uh, yeah, no, you could uh, pretty much take in what you see here today. Just pretty much expect this this Thursday. This is what we're uh, kind of a glimpse of what we're gonna be getting here. And, uh, yeah, man, um, I don't know, not much to say here. I believe, actually, you know what, I believe that the God Mode version of this should be appearing in our, as our, one of our Exorcism Weeklies, because I saw so the Exorcism Reputation thing unlocks at 30, and I believe as soon as you hit 35, this, uh, this dungeon should appear as, uh, part of your weekly that you have to do, uh, in terms of, uh, you know, I guess the requirements or whatever, because I know that when you do the exorcism, you got like three brackets, or you have three types of options to do in your brackets. So you have your daily, and then you have two more, and I believe one of them is the weekly. So I know for a fact that this dungeon, uh, the god mode version, should be appearing as a weekly. So uh, yeah, if you're gonna do a dungeon, you know, on a daily basis, this is definitely one of them that you need to do. Because I, I believe that if you do even the, like, at hard mode and above, um... I think I think it pretty much this dungeon actually drops materials that you need uh, in order to to get you some crafted gear, like a little bit of some mats and whatnot. And of course, the higher the difficulty, the more uh, stuff that's gonna drop, the more rare stuff and shit. So uh, yeah, I believe if you do God mode, which you can only do three times a week, um, then uh, yeah, you uh, 
you pretty much um, you're gonna be getting some mats for your crafty gear as well as uh, I think fragments like there's these golden fragments that drop that help you unlock you unlock your uh, legendary skills I believe I think that's what it is uh, I'm not too sure I've only been in the game for like less than a month so I'm just going off of what I hear so uh, yeah all right, so we, as you saw, we already beat the second boss, so we're coming up this nice here. I'm just admiring the scenery, man. This is a pretty cool scenery. As you can see, we've got like this nice Chinese-looking temple. Looks badass. I love it. And uh, man, it just graphically, this dungeon looks really amazing. I actually really do like this dungeon, and uh, it actually takes a lot for me to appreciate the scenery and the environment uh, in terms of a dungeon. I, I usually like the uh, the way the Atmospheres are set up in terms of the raids. I usually like raids more than dungeons, but uh, yeah, this dungeon, man, it really took it from me, and that, that takes a lot here. Oh, and uh, as you can see right here, you're about to see that I'm standing in this AoE, and I actually fucking die. Here it is. Bam! Look at that noob mistake. Look at that bullshit. Yeah, that just shows how much, how squishy a vanguard is to a spellcaster, man. Stood in that AoE for like, what, less than five seconds? Fuck, I don't know. And I already died. Whatever. Dumbass mistake, new mistake, learn from it, and uh, move on, so yeah. Uh, anyway, so we're coming up here onto the final boss here. He's got like a cool little cutscene you're gonna see here in a second, and uh, he's got some uh, pretty neat mechanics. I definitely want you guys to check this out. Um, watch real closely at his mechanics so you know what you're getting yourself into. Now, keep in mind that when you head over to hard mode and god mode, well, actually, I'll talk about hard mode first for a sec. When you come into hard mode, you're not going to get any indicators. So, the questing version, you get quite a number of uh, indicators. What the fuck was that rubber band? Uh, quite a number of indicators, but in hard mode, you're not going to get nothing at all. And I believe when you head up to god mode, right? I think when you head up into god mode, his, his entire mechanics co change completely. Well, I don't know if it completely changes, but they add a few things uh, to make it a lot more harder and less forgiving, right? So keep that in mind, though. When you head over to god mode, it's not going to be a breeze. You have to learn his mechanics for easy and hard mode, as well as learn up a new set of mechanics when you head over to God mode. So of course, yeah, keep that in mind, guys. All right, but other than that, man, it, it's definitely gonna be worth it when you uh, beat it because, like I said, the materials for this is fucking amazing. Now, even if you have crafted gear and you don't need the uh, the loot that you get from here, you can always take the loot. Like uh, if you get like a piece of gear, for example, you can always take it and dismantle it for materials. Right? It'll, it'll dismantle into either materials or currency. Alright? If you dismantle it, you get some materials. Uh, those materials should be... You should be able to use those mats uh, for your crafty gear. So it all ties into each other uh, at the end of the day. So... This dungeon really shouldn't be getting too obsolete very quickly because there's always going to be a reason for you to come back and run it on the daily. Not only for e uh, experience and whatnot, but also to get some, uh, some gear for... Um, but to also get some loot from here in order to get you some materials, either materials or loot that you can dismantle for uh, mats, right? So, uh, yeah. Um, other than that, not much to say here. As you can see, his mechanics are quite uh, interesting, I guess. He's got a lot of AoE, he's kiting, and a lot of, uh, I don't know, front lane moves or whatever. Got a couple hack and slashes and whatnot. Um, but, uh, yeah, not much to say here. Uh, another thing I wanted to tell you guys is a happy Halloween. I hope you guys are having a great Halloween so far. You, uh, you either dressed up and you went out and scared some kids, or, uh, you stick back at, uh, I don't know, maybe a relative's house or your house and you handed out candy to the youngins. I don't know. Either way, I hope you, hopefully you guys had a great Halloween or, or is having, currently having a wonderful Halloween. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, um... Anyways, guys, uh, that's pretty much all I have to say. I guess pretty much enjoy the rest of the footage here. I'm going to go ahead and get back to you guys in just a second here. After we finish up this boss, I'm going to talk about one last announcement uh, before I go. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and finish up this battle here, and I'll uh, speak back with you. Here.
So before I go, I thought I might give you guys one last announcement before CBT about the Twitch channel. I talked about the Twitch channel uh, a couple weeks ago on my Sex of Bikini Blade and Soul video. And uh, I thought I might give you guys a little bit of an update here since uh, I'm going to start streaming really soon. Um, so I've decided my stream time, and this is what you're seeing on the screen. On the screen, We have uh, 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. PST. And I know this time may be a little bit uh, late for a lot of you guys out there, but there is... You gotta hear me out, there is a reason why I chose this time. So this time is actually the time that my guild is the most active, okay? So as you can see, due to personal reasons and just life in general, man, our, our members, including myself, can't actually log in uh, into the game earlier in the day. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to kind of kill two birds with one stone. Uh, and that is, one, I could stream and play and progress in the game. Uh, at a reasonable and convenient time for my guild and two is that I could talk and I could talk to and interact with my members uh, not only that but you guys can kind of get to know the easy dynasty on a different level right we won't be so I guess filtered like we are in the videos it'll just be like us right just playing an awesome game like we normally do um, and of course you'll, you'll get to see our crazy shenanigans and our dumbass conversations because we like to have a good time, you know, that's part of being uh, in a guild, right, the interaction, the social aspect of it, right, making some friends and shit like that, so, uh, yeah, and you guys can interact with them too, as well, through chat, right, through the, you know, when we start live streaming through the chat, you guys can interact with them, right, so it's not, so it, it's, it's not gonna be just boring old me all the time, you know, that you guys have, a. Uh, a little bit more people to interact with in the streams, which is always nice. The content will seem more fresh and new since the fact that we're going to have squad with us. And, uh, yeah, I, I think that's about it. That's all I wanted to announce. I wanted to make it a quick and fast one for you. I uh, don't want to waste too much of your time. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Uh, now, I will announce again that I will be streaming. And, the, and we are going to be starting uh, our live streaming on Thursday, November 3rd for... Well, the obvious reason. So expect to see another video on Thursday just as like a reminder that, hey guys, I'm going to be streaming today at uh, our usual time that I announced in my last video. So uh, come out, check us out, you know, shit like that. Just a quick reminder. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to say. Uh, no, I think that should be about it. If anything, I will update you guys on Twitter. So make sure you're, you're following me on Twitter for the latest updates if you want to check us out, right? Uh, but uh, anyways, guys, all right. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, please stay tuned for more Revelation content to come your way, and I hope you're all having a very, very scary night, and uh, as always, this has been the One Man Army, Mr. Easy for Life, and I'm out. Peace!